Hi, Angie B here, and I'm outside the Prince Edward Theatre in the heart of London's West End, where the current musical showing here at the moment is Aladdin. Aladdin opened here on June the 15th in 2016, and the reviews have been fantastic. One critic quotes, it's an amazing, all singing, all dancing, over-exaggerated, multi-costume changing of a spectacle. Well, I'm so excited. I've got the opportunity to go in and meet the leading role of this musical, Matthew Croke. And he's going to be talking to me about what it's like to have the leading role in a top West End musical. So, hi. How amazing is this? I've managed to track down this wonderful guy, Matthew Croke. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank you for wanting to do this. Oh, no, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, I know that you are so full on with this West End show at the moment. Yeah. And uh, to, to, you know, every minute of rest time is so valuable, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But also what comes with the job is so enjoyable. You know, I, I do love talking about the show, talking about what I'm doing outside the show. I, I, I do find it really enjoyable. So all these extra things, it's not like I don't enjoy it you know yeah so, yeah. yeah oh brilliant well thank you so much and uh, yeah let's just let's start from the beginning before we crack on and get into the real juicy bits about Aladdin mm -hmm. um, I'm more interested and I'm sure people um, at home and our listeners on Marlow FM would love to hear how the story all began you know where did you where did you start where did let's start with the training okay so I actually started dancing when I was about five years old and um, it was my sister Rachel that was at dancing class before me she's three four years older than I am and my mum used to take her every single um, Saturday and my older brother actually gave it a go at one point and then my dad said um, you know what football or, or, or dancing and he chose football and um, had a great career in that and I then thought oh what, what do I want to do and then by the time I got to five I gave it a go and actually to start with it wasn't something that I fell in love with straight away mm. because I was a shy little boy. But then the more I did it, the more I did enjoy it and actually th realized that it was something that I was all right at, you know, it was yeah. something that I kind of succeeded in. And the more I did well, the more I enjoyed it. And, and here I am. So I went to a dancing class in uh, Sheffield, where I'm from, at the Morin Law Theatre School, and then went into Greece, the musical, my first job in the West End in 2007. That's a, a really interesting story because uh, sharing a similar experience to you to leave uh, the north mm -hmm. and come down to London mm -hmm. at 16 mm -hmm. it's a huge change isn't it That's and it. Uh, you've got to sort of acclimatise to London but then mm -hmm. obviously take on board the intense three years of musical theatre training which in itself is you know I think people underestimate how disciplined you have to be mm -hmm. and when you're in that kind of um, uh, position of training every day in all elements you're a triple threat yeah. it's quite a, a, a a hard three years isn't it it is a hard three years however it's like looking back is the best three years you know like as being so young um and just trying to make the most of it and take it as serious as possible i think if anything um i would always say to someone who wants to do this industry now to maybe wait until you're 18 just to kind of have them two years to mentally prepare yourself however yeah. I wouldn't change my experience because, as I said, my first job was Greece in the West End and then um, I went into Wicked, which was like a dream. And I, I wouldn't have worked in them shows if I left college later because I, I you know, yeah. so I'm very fortunate. I'm very grateful. But um, looking back, it was the best three years. Maybe um, being a bit older would have helped in some ways. So, mm. yeah, you know, you can't ever turn back time. So. Absolutely, and I mean, you're, you're, you you know, you've had an amazing start to an amazing career. You've you've obviously laid the ground um, work with doing a few shows, and then obviously you land a major role in a top West End musical. I mean, how did that feel when you got the news that you'd actually got the lead role, Aladdin? Yeah, yes. Thinking back to that phone call that I got, I was on my way to Sheffield to teach because I have a school in Sheffield. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's the RMC, right. Theater, RMC Academy Theatre performance uh, with my sister she's a massive role model she's my inspiration as I call her she laughs but um, you know if it wasn't for her I wouldn't I wouldn't have got a lad and if it wasn't for her I wouldn't have wanted to dance if it wasn't for her always kind of keeping an eye on me when I was training mm. um, you know she, she really does mean a lot to me with regards to my career so um, we were going up to Sheffield to teach at our school and my phone rang and I was at King's Cross station and it was my agent and said um, actually Matt you've been offered um, this part in the show but we're gonna have to turn it down um, because you've been offered Aladdin as well and I was like 
my heart skipped a beat when I got told about the other job that well, it was it was in South Korea and it was a job that yeah. um, would, I would have loved and it was a role that I really wanted to do but then when she said we're gonna have to turn it down I was like what why is, you know yeah, yeah. this is a great opportunity she was like because you've been offered Aladdin in the West End and I was like I'm gonna have to call you back I'm gonna, I cannot <laughs> I can't I can't even ask you the details of when I start how long it's for you know I just was like I'm gonna have to call you back like I know that I've got it now and that needs to process before I can even begin to ask you any more questions. It was incredible. So did you do that classic Del Boy moment when the phone hung up, you sat there quietly and then you went, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And when I got on the train, I started making phone calls to my mum, my dad, mm. uh, my wife, my, my best friends. And I, I was, I honestly, it took a long time for me to believe that it was actually true. Mm. It sounds so strange. I was, I was expecting in some ways for them to ring and say they'd made a mistake in some ways to say that, you know, oh, I was gonna wake up from this dream. I really honestly thought, I think the only time I even questioned it still when Richard Oriel, the, 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 our Disney man, our number one Disney man um, calls me and said, I just want to congratulate you, you know, you're Andy Aladdin. And I was like, sorry, what? <laughs> what, 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 what? Oh, hello, yes, I, I was in disbelief then and yeah. I put the phone down. I was like, it might still not happen though. Like it yeah. took a, such a long time for it to sink in. Yeah. Um, and now, two and a half years later, we're, we've got 10 weeks left at the Prince Edward Theatre. Yeah. And I'm just making the most of it, Absolutely. trying to soak it all in and, and, and take every single show with me and never forget it. Absolutely. And I suppose the reality then really did hit um, when you first start the rehearsals and you first step on the stage and yeah. you, you actually start uh, living mm. the dream. Mm -hmm. um, how how was the first evening, the first performance that you did? Is it memorable? Can you remember it really clearly? What I remember most about that day is that every year at Aladdin, when they have a cast change, they do an open dress rehearsal. So you've got your dress rehearsal that obviously every show has, mm -hmm. um, but they invite you, you can invite an, an, an audience. Mm -hmm. um, and it was in that moment that the show started in the dress rehearsal that I thought, what am I yeah. about to start? Okay. What can I do it? Can I get from A to B? Because with Aladdin, the musical, whoever is Aladdin, doesn't really get a chance to leave the stage and kind mm -hmm. of think, right, if I'm about to start the show, I just need to get to that point and then I can come up to the restroom, have some water and think, right, what's next? Mm -hmm. And then another break, like it's it's A to B, start to finish, you start and then you finish and the show is finished. Mm -hmm. So it was a, it's like a, mar a mini marathon in a mm -hmm. way and I thought, I just hope as soon as I start that I do manage to get to the end. It was like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna, <laughs> what, am I about, what am I about to start? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was that feeling that I remember the most. And then in the evening, I think I was slightly more relaxed because mm -hmm. I managed to get through the open dress rehearsal. And obviously, as you know, yeah. open dress rehearsals are full of industry people as yeah. opposed to a normal audience where yeah. you'll have families and mm -hmm. children that have come to see the show as opposed to see their friends in the other mm -hmm. roles or in the ensemble or me because they're my friend or family and they're not watching the show as an audience member, they're watching it because they are everyone's loved ones. So mm. actually I think the, the first performance to a paying audience was slightly more relaxed. Mm. And I still, yeah, I still, now I'm here two and a half years later, I can't believe it. Well, it's obviously going very well. You're obviously going through it, uh, the motions very, very smoothly yeah. and sleekly if you're two and a half years yeah, later. Yeah. What did you, uh, I mean, obviously you, you will have watched previous performances and you've learned so much over the years with your musical theatre experience, but what would you say um, you wanted to bring different to the character Aladdin when you did it? Well, I mean, was the one thing that you wanted to do differently Definitely, or make your yeah. own? Yeah, I think because in other interviews that I've had I've explained how much Aladdin mm. the film meant to me as a young boy and mm. um, I used to watch it so much and I used to like do at my old dancing school at Boring Laws I, I used to play a mini Aladdin in a little production we did and mm. I was just in love with the film so when I got it I, I went back and watched the film I came to watch the show and I just wanted to make sure that Disney is a spectacular, whatever you watch with Disney, it's spectacular, it's mm. magical and all these things that Disney have and what they're famous for. But in the same breath, it's still a, a lovely love story and I think it's still a lovely bromance story with the genie. And I think for Aladdin, there's these two people that come into his life mm. and I wanted to portray the realism of that. Mm. Anybody can fall in love and mm. anybody can meet a guy that becomes your best mate. And, them two things are very real. Mm. So I wanted to make sure that like the love story was told in the most real way. Mm. Um, and again, with the genie in the real way, because all the glitz and glamour will then surround it to make mm. the story of Aladdin the musical mm. and make it magical and glorious. But with the real story 
that is the core of the show will then yeah. help it. So, yeah. so a, cer- a certain degree of honesty and truth there, yeah. which I think is reflective yeah. in your performance and I think uh, contributes to your huge success because I think, uh, you know, the, the true character and the honesty when you're playing a role always comes through. And like you say, everything else is just the periphery, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So uh, um, congratulations, because I think you've done that. I mean, you can tell Thank by you. the reviews mm-hmm. and what the critics are saying and the audiences, everybody's coming back. So um, that that's just truly amazing, isn't it? It is your ambition. Yeah. Um, and you've achieved it. I mean, it's brilliant to live that it and is. and to, to read it and to see your your name and your photo on on posters and and think, wow, mm. I've 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 made it. I've mm. done it. Yeah. Um, so okay, so we've gone through all like the the, uh, the the journey and how you've got here. Um, but come on, we want to know a little bit more of sort of backstage gossip. Has there been <laughs> has there been any really funny moments or moments where you may have I don't know you, you've just gone blank or you've forgotten something or something technical's gone wrong and you've really had to just improvise on the spot the thing is obviously within any show <laughs> it's live theatre yeah. and I think as a, sh- a show like Aladdin with a massive set and technical things mm. there's always a chance even however kind of impressive yeah. and things that these things are there's always a chance like anything that it could go wrong mm. so yes there have been some things that um would that have gone wrong you know i have definitely flown the magic carpet before <laughs> and not moved uh, you know it's been it's been a floating carpet before <laughs> however it's still beautiful and magical yeah. um and obviously you know with aladdin there's one character in the show that can break that fourth wall <laughs> and i play opposite that yeah. person yeah. that character and what <laughs> is so fantastically hard yeah. is to not for me yeah. not to break that and let the genie do that <laughs> and i have to not let it out and there are moments that i've it's, it, he is so spectacularly funny yeah. and great at that role that i yeah. matthew can't yeah. not laugh at him no, no. but the audience i've got to say do do the reaction that you get when Trevor Dion Nicholas is, is being yeah. the, the fabulous genie. Um, they do like to see that we are, that our chemistry, that yeah. we're bringing our offstage bromance onto our onstage bromance yeah. and we're really close and we have a great relationship and I think the audience love to see that yeah. even if it, it's out yeah. of character slightly. Yeah, so, I agree, you know, I agree. It's a little bit of yeah, you know humanity, isn't yeah. it? And I think that's there's, there's no harm in that whatsoever. Um, okay, so that I mean, it's 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 great, and I think it's wonderful story to hear about you and your journey to to the West End. And I'm sure a lot of our listeners on Marlow FM and social media will be interested to again hear about how you came to be. Um, but just following on from that, seeing as how we're sort of talking about musicals, do you have a favourite musical that? Uh, you've had or a favourite musical that you would have liked to have done that you've not done yet have you have you got one that uh, springs to mind well when that question was asked to me before Aladdin it was always Aladdin mm. so when people do when I get that similar question now um, I always find it quite difficult to kind of say what comes to mind now because the, the number one thing mm. was to play Aladdin and, and um, other than that I've been in my career previous over 10 years in fabulous shows in the West End I've had um, the luxury of understudying some great roles which I in some ways would love to go back to in a Mm. permanent way Mm. I've understood Fiero and Wicked before Mm -hmm. which was a great experience and I was in that show for a long time so I I actually was on stage a lot a lot of the time was Fiero Um, I was standby Tony in West Side Story which is a a, a part even now that I Mm. would be so privileged to at play um, so there's, it's like and with, 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 anything, with anything like that it might not if it's not them my passion would be maybe something that maybe doesn't exist now okay. something in the future that would be a part that was brand new that uh-huh. some in a new musical or something like that because although I've had a wonderful career I've never actually been part of something brand spanking new. I've done okay. Funny Girl mm-hmm. um, recently with uh, like with starring Sharon, Sharon Smith and Darius and all the and, and all them wonderful, that wonderful cast. But it was a, re- a revival, that was, mm-hmm. so it was all new and mm-hmm. creatively it was d- r- freshened up. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't it'd been done before and yeah. um, 
I was in Singing in the Rain at the Palace Theatre, and th th obviously that's been done before, but it was a brand new production. So mm -hmm. something, I don't know, like, mm. there's anything really. I mean, if you ask me that job in a dream world, like, I guess it's any anything that I've just said, but really, as an actor, coming out of a job, all you really want is another job. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. if anybody's out there that wants to <laughs> Do right. put me in anything, <laughs> 24th of August. He's a guy. <laughs> He's free. <laughs> so, yeah. And I mean, obviously, uh, that doesn't restrict you to, to theatre. I mean, would you consider going into TV work and film work? 100%. I mean, obviously, you yeah. know, because uh, there's, there's a huge genre out there for that kind of thing, isn't mm -hmm. there? I could see you in a kind of Game of Thrones role. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'd love that. <laughs> Absolutely. I think just with my background is... Um, Primarily musical theatre. I've done lots of um, West End shows, and and you're from the north. And I'm from the north, so like Carnation <laughs> Street or something that'd be lovely. <laughs> but um, like, yeah, my yeah. agent is fully aware that that is something that I'm very interested in. So yeah, yeah very open-minded to any work. Yeah, excellent, good stuff. Well, I mean, it's incredible just being able to sit and have a chat to you. Um, it's been really good to get to know you Thank and you. obviously learn about your journey. As I said, it was at the beginning when we were chatting. It's lovely to meet someone who's sort of been down a similar path where you literally up sticks and move to the city mm -hmm. to follow your dream. <laughs> And you're living your dream. How fantastic is that? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Um, Matthew Croke, just before we go, um, shall we do a little bit of a sing song from Aladdin? Well, I know that you are also a trained, <laughs> wonderful musical theatre oh, person yourself. Oh, I don't know. I you don't know. know. It's been a few years. It's been a few years, but I thought, why don't we have a little duet and sing? A little bit of a whole new world. Do you know that one? Oh my goodness! Actually, Can I remember the words? Actually, it's on. I recorded it for my album. Oh. From it's called Only Dreaming. I was about to ask you that. Can you tell me just before we go into our little sing song? Tell me about your album. Yeah, I'm I, my wonderful friend Alan Williams. That's the musical director on Aladdin. Mm. Um, I took this idea to him and he said, yeah, let's do it. I want to record an album. And he was like, I'll produce it for you, you know, wonderful. And I've, very, I've been very lucky that Disney sell it front of house at the theatre, mm -hmm. Prince Edward Theatre. Um, you can get it a, a CD through my website. Um, and you can also download it on Apple Music, okay. YouTube, um, mm -hmm. Spotify, iTunes, all of the usual places. Mm -hmm. and. I'm really proud to say that it's doing really well. That's great. We will actually um, get some of those tracks played on Marlow FM on this Sunday Thank on you. Sound of Musicals. We will Thank dedicate you. it, obviously, to you and to our wonderful chat today. And, um, yeah, congratulations on that. I mean, just you are a triple threat and a huge talent. So I wish you all the success. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, should we, should, should we have a little giggle? Why not? <laughs> yeah. okay. I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes Take you wander by wonder Over sideways and under On a magic carpet ride A whole new world A new, a new fantastic, fantastic point of view No one to tell us no Or where to go Or say we're, we're only dreaming, dreaming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank that was you. amazing. Thank you.